Ahoy Rovers! Well, this week I'm back on the building and fitting of bulkheads detail. My name's Alan Mulholland, and this is the story of how I built the Wave Rover 650. Three years ago, I refitted a 40-year-old Contessa 26 and took her on an amazing 7,800 nautical mile ocean voyage. We crossed the Atlantic twice, but a knockdown on the second crossing and COVID-19 put an end to my solo circumnavigation. So now I'm building a new boat, smaller, lighter, but more suited for a solo circumnavigation. The Wave Rover 650. Well, in the last video, you saw me install these great big timbers, and that, that went really well because we had nice temperatures. Now, in this video, I want to put in bulkhead number four, which runs right along this line, and it forms the after end of the galley or the chart table. I haven't decided yet where to put the chart table or galley. They can pretty much go either side. Anyway, once I get that in place, which is the uh, object of this video, then I, I'll have a nice straight line between this bulkhead and the one I put in just forward of the transom, and I'll be able to start filling in the bulkheads in between and really start to make some uh, progress on the inside. Anyway, a lot to do, Rovers. Time to crack on. Okay, so bulkhead uh, four, or the aft end of the galley slash chart table is going right here. And I need to create a keyway so that I can glue the bulkhead into the hull. And rather than sand back this whole area, because really this is sealed right now, I just need to create a space that will be wide enough for the bulkhead and the tabbing, the fiberglass tabbing that I'll do after. So I have a four inch piece of wood. I just put it, I line it up and just make a little index line really to um, just to let me know where to sand. And I need to draw that back to the center of the boat. And then same over on this side. Well now we're sanded and cleaned up. We have a keyway made for the epoxy to uh, bite into. So the next step is to establish the height of the bulkhead. And that's the beauty of this 650 design is it was really designed for backyard builders, which means we have a certain amount of control over what we do here. So I can, I can determine the height of this bulkhead based on my personal preferences. Okay, so it's decision time. Uh, right here, I don't know if you can see that laser line, but I have it set at an elevation of two foot nine, which is, which is the top of what would be the galley or the chart table. And let me just grab my tape measure here. And from that line, let me see if I can get out of the arc right there. From that line, I have two feet to the cabin top. So two feet of clearance from the top of the counter to the inside of the cabin top, uh, which is a fair bit of space, you know, in a small boat. But I also know that my bunk is right about, is exactly right here, the bunk height. And when I'm sitting there and I lean out on 
the uh, the, the the countertop I, I don't want to be stressed out I want to have a nice line so I've determined that if I drop this down from where it is down to here it's actually this is the halfway point between the shear the shear and the chine which um, when you put the counter in it's not just any old counter these are all structural pieces uh, it really stiffens up the midpoint of the hull and I like that so I'm going to change to this height right here for for the height of uh, the counter. Now, this is the way it works. So the bulkhead is built in several pieces. So there will be a piece that will come up and it'll be cut um, level at this point and will form the lower half of the bulkhead. The bunk will come into it, stiffening it, and then the countertop goes on it down to the next bulkhead. And then from the countertop, it's built out again to form the rest of the bulkhead that will go up and over connecting it to the to the other side so um, yeah I have no problem lowering that that'll be that'll be more comfortable for me so to do that I've got the I've got the uh, laser level on a tripod here and all I have to do is just lower it until it intersects that line so let's just do that There we go. So I have that now on both sides of the boat so I can just I can just indicate on both sides where to put this countertop or the height of the the bulkhead. All right. Time to crack on. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So we've got the area all cleaned. We've got the keyway done. Now what we want to do is build this little template. So I'm just going to get stuck into that. I'm reusing a lot of the old door skin that I used on the previous templates because, well, I mean, you can just pull them apart. It's just that plastic glue. Okay, so that piece, that'll be pretty good, but I just need to take a little piece off here. Let's see, we'll try that. Okay, so that's sitting nice and flat against the hull. Uh, this piece, let's see, it's got a good end there. That's looking pretty good. Yep. Yeah. So I just need to put a bit of an angle on this. Try that. Okay, and we only need it to be right to here and it's actually sitting nice and tight there's not much curvature to these panels and we can just glue that up like that that'll be fine okay so let's do that so we're just using our glue gun go. Just hold that for a second. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now we just need something to go across the bottom. And again, I'll just reuse this piece. And uh, I'm just putting this line on here just to tell me where to put the glue. So that's, that's three quarters of our template made right there.
Okay, so now I want to put a brace across this just to keep it from wandering on me. And I'll just do that with this. Piece of tape left over from the previous template. Okay, so place that on there. And I'll just hold it with this. That's pretty good. Actually, we need to just take the corner out of that. case of the brace I will no that one's too long we'll reuse this one right here boom just like that unfortunately I'm out of glue so I'll put a new stick in yeah there we go Okay, now I just need to mark a few index lines in this and we are in business. So this is our plumb line and this is our height. Okay, so I've got my template here and I'm just going to lay it down on the ply. In fact, I spend a lot of time just trying to figure out where to put it on the ply because I want to economize as much plywood as I can. So I've already laid this one out. I know I know where it's going. I've just draw some lines all the way down and around. And so I know the height is here. I know this is plumb, but I've actually given myself about half an inch extra and I'll trim that back once we get a laser on it. And so I'll just make these three cuts with the uh, skill saw because they really are nice and straight. There's virtually no curve to them at all. Now if you want to save yourself a little bit of heartache with tear out because the grain runs this way on plywood okay. and when you uh, cut it with a saw you're going to get tear out. So one of the probably easiest things to do is just to take a knife and just score it before you, you don't have to go very deep, you just have to really penetrate that first veneer. Now on this one right here you don't have to do it because you're going with the grain. You're not going to get hardly any tear out at all.
Okay, so now I've got them just placed in. It's just gravity holding them at this point, but um, I'm just marking the plumb line on this, and I'll be doing the same on the other side. Then I'll take it back outside, I'll make the saw cut, and that's more or less it for fitting these two bulkheads. They're both looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the uh, scribing so far. It looks, uh, looks like it'll be nice and tight. We'll just take a look at this side. Okay, so the last thing left to do on these two bulkheads is to just cut this plumb line. And you saw me use the laser level to get it all set. So now I'm just going to make a knife cut because we're going across the grain and it's just going to splinter. And you can see that there's no splintering on this side and this side we've got all kinds of splintering so that's the reason I'd make that knife cut. I'd like to take a moment to honor the Wave Rover benefactors. So what is a benefactor? Well, these folks have made a contribution of $100 US or more to the project, and their names will be affixed to a bulkhead inside Wave Rover and will be traveling with me on our circumnavigation. Now these donations truly are much appreciated. Well, that went really well. It took about three hours to cut, fit, and glue these bulkheads in place. Now, it, I spent about six hours doing it. Where did the other three hours go? Well, it went into setting up the camera and explaining what I'm doing and so on. Now, in the next episode, I'm going to be putting in the ring frames and bulkheads in between these two bulkheads. It's going to be very interesting. Anyway, Rovers, as always, thanks for watching. Well, Mr. Speckles and I would like to take a moment to thank all the Wave Rover patrons whose pledges of support help power the Wave Rover project. Now, if you'd like to know more about Wave Rover's patron page and benefactors bulkhead, I have links to both those pages in the video description. Now another way to help Wave Rover, and it doesn't cost you a dime, is by sharing our content on your social media. So now, as always, Rovers, thanks for watching. Give us one more. Brilliant.